Now before we start adding the quotation and invoices, we need to be seeing how to be adding the products that we are selling. Now within the uh, CRM, we have a submenu item called as products. Now in case this is not visible, you can just go to the more section and the product should be visible right here. If you wish to be moving any of the items right here, you can just click on the item and drag and drop them on the submenu. So once you're done with the customization, you can just click on finish customization and that's it. So let's head over to the products. Now within the products, I have all the categories created. I have the first one called integration. We have product, services, training and so on. Now you can add additional folders or sections in this case by just clicking on add section. Let's call this as maybe laptop. So in this we are going to be maintaining the catalog of all the laptops and just click on add. All right, uh, we just added a new section. So let's go into this particular section called laptops. Now we need to be adding the product. So let's just click on add product. Now within this, we need to be giving the name of the product. Let's call this as maybe MacBook 2019. You can add some description if you wish to. You can set the currency. So in my case, it has been set as UA dirhams and we have the price. So let's set this as maybe 5000. We have the unit of measurement. Now in this case, it is going to be per piece. So let's have the pieces selected. We have the section already been selected. And you can also add some images if you wish to. Now in my case, I have another field called as training type. Now this is a custom field that was created. And in your case, this field is not going to be there. We are also going to be seeing how to be adding this custom fields in the products. So for now, let's just go ahead and click on save. All right. Uh, so I have set that particular field as required. That's why it's not letting me add it. So let me just go ahead and click it as maybe on site and just click on save. Now, as you can see here, the product has been added, which is MacBook. The price has been mentioned and so on. Now, before we move forward, let me just go ahead and show you how you can be adding custom fields to the products. Now, this is again going to be in the settings. Now, within this, we have something called as the product properties. Now, within the product properties, we have one product property called training type. Let me just open it up and you can see that it has been marked as required. So I can just disable this and click on save. Now, if you wish to be adding new properties to the product, you can just click on the add button right here. Now let's set the type as string. Maybe let's set the product property. Let's say maybe we are selling uh, dresses and we need to be setting up the color of the dress. So let's name this as color. So this is going to be having a default value of let's say white. And let's click on save. All right, now you can see that we have added uh, two product properties. So let's go back to the products and let's set the color of the particular product that we just added. So it was in the laptop. We have the MacBook 2019. We can just click on the edit button. Within this, we have the color property. So by default, it was not added because this is an existing product. So let me just enter their color white and click on save. Now, when you're going to be adding a new product, you'll see that the property is auto filled as white. So let me just cancel it for now. Okay. Uh, so in this way, you're going to be adding all the products in Bitrix 24. Now, please note that there's one restriction. You do not have the option of importing products in Bitrix. So you need to be adding all of them manually for now. Maybe in the future, Bitrix will be adding functionality of importing the products. So in that case, uh, it might be possible. All right, uh, so let's just go back to our deals and let's go ahead and add a new deal. Now I'm going to be selling a laptop, so I want to be adding it into the trading pipeline. So right now we can see that we have the all deals selected and I'm in the list view. Now when I click on add, I'll be presented with all the pipeline options. It's asking me in which pipeline I want to be adding the deal. So let's just go ahead and select trading. Let's give this name. Let's call this as Apple laptop for school. Let's select the company. So in this case, let's say the company is going to be again Sun Textile. Uh, so instead of for school, let's make it as textile probably. Okay, uh, we have the contact information automatically selected from our database uh, for Sun Textile. Now we want to be adding the product. 
So we can just go ahead and click on save for now. Now for adding the product, you can just go to the product section and select product. Now within this, I have the laptops. So let's just go ahead and select the laptop. Now you can see that there is no notification that has been shown to us that the laptop got added. But once you double click on this, uh, it has been added. So just click on this uh, close button. And now you can see that the product got added MacBook 2019. We have the price and also the unit of measurement shown right here. You can go ahead and add additional product if you wish to, or you can also add and discount by just clicking right here and entering the discount percentage or the discount amount. With that done, just uh, click on save. Okay, uh, the new product is added. So if I just go back to general and scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a section called as products. Within this, the product uh, name has been shown and the amount has been shown as well. So this gives a very good overview of exactly what all products the person is interested in, who is the person, which is the company, and you have a complete information about your particular deal. Now to be adding any product to the leads, you can just go over to the leads and within this, let's click on the add button. And within the add button, uh, let's go ahead and call this lead name as maybe laptop required for school this time. And let's just click on save. Now, when I click on save, you can see that I'm presented with this error that the name is not present. And if you try to do it, maybe it will save it. Now, there's one customization that you can do for showing this particular message. Now, name is such an important field that without this, the lead is quite useless. So for that purpose, you need to be clicking on setting, click on edit setting. And within this, you'll be having the option of required starting with status and you have the all statuses mentioned here. So this basically mentions that uh, if the lead has been created in any of these stages, we need to be asking for this particular field. With that done, you just click on save and we need to be entering the name of the person. So let's name this person as maybe Bruce and click on save. So now we have the name of the person saved. Now to be adding the products is same as how we had done it in the deals. We just click on add products and we select the product right here. Double click on the product and we have the product added right here. So let's just click on save. And if you go back to the general and scroll down, we have the particular product that has been created right here. Now you have the option of splitting this product into some other section if you wish to. So you can just scroll all the way to the bottom. You have this button called add section. Let's say we're going to be mentioning all product details here. So I can just rename this as maybe product. And I can just bring this section uh, to the top. So you can just catch this particular section and bring it on the top. Now I want to be moving this particular field in this section. So it is over on the particular field and drag and drop it in the particular section that you want it to. Now, once you have all this done, you can just go ahead and close this. Now, next time when you open it up, it's going to be as you left it. So as you just saw, Bittrex CRM is quite uh, easy to use once you get to know of all the features and exactly how you should be managing your data within Bittrex. Let's move on to the next video within which we're going to be generating some quotation and invoices and see how we can send those particular invoices and quotations directly from Bittrex to our customers and also keep a track of all the quotations that have been sent so far.